Welcome back to On Board Tangra. And if it's your first time coming to our channel, welcome. We can't wait for you to share our adventures with us. So this week we release some mooring lines and we head off to Shimanus. We can't wait to show you the town that could. Basically, this town was dying and it got a whole bunch of famous artists together and painted the town full of murals. Such an amazing town to walk through and we're so excited to show it to you. So grab the popcorn and enjoy the show. Hey everyone and welcome to our crazy life on board Tangaroa. Two years ago we decided that it was time for our family to move on to a boat. But not just any boat. 1969 aluminum trawler that needed a lot of work. Of course, being the crazy people we are, we decided we could do the whole refit ourselves. I personally am surprised that we're not divorced yet and that our kids have not disowned us. But soon, Tangaroa will be ready for our trip around the world. We hope our adventures inspire you to live each day with laughter and appreciation. Visit us at onboardtangaroa.com for early access to ad-free videos. Okay, Blaine's parents are off the ferry. I feel like I'm going into a charter, like working on the super yachts again, because I don't think I've ever had this boat this clean. Like, look at, maybe at Krista's wedding, but everything's kind of clean. I've got the cushions out on the deck. I've got the fore deck made. I've got the aft deck cleaned up. Aft deck's all cleaned. Lower aft deck is cleaned. See, the bow's all set up. We put the cushions out. Chairs, dog, right Mags? Yeah, I um, decided I don't like being a stewardess. Not happening. Okay, so let me show you their room. There we go, look. I got beds made, gave them crew uniforms. Cause they're gonna be put to work. Oh, there's me. But yeah, except the hole in the wall. Um, I don't know if you saw the video about that where we dropped the copper. We had to put a hole in the wall to get it. Blaine's going to tell his mom that we had rat problem and that was the worst and he's put poison in it. I think it's a bad idea, but that's what he's gonna do. But we are countdown two days and we are out of here. So excited, Blaine's on vacation for three weeks and we're going to go explore. So exciting, we are off. I just have gotta lay the tender out for Blaine and we are gone for almost two weeks. <laughs> So tonight we're heading to Shemanus, which is a cool little town full of murals. It is really a cool little place, but let's go see what Blaine's up to. Are you ready? Ready. Vacation! Yes. Yes. You want to go Sure. Okay, we have to pick up the prawn chop on our way because really the best way to start a vacation is with fresh prawns. Gosh, I hope I have some. But uh, yeah, the fingers crossed that we get some. There's the trap there, right by the island, and Blaine will drive up with the big boat, and I'll pull it up from the stern. If I don't get any prawns, I'm going to be very sad. Very sad. I see it now. Here comes the big blue ball. Look, I finally have Blaine pulling up prawn. Go Blaine, go. My turn again? Izzy, why don't you tag out Abby? Yeah. <laughs> Put everything into a five gallon bucket because then it doesn't get tangled. It doesn't even have to be perfect. You just throw it all in there. As it's coming in, just push it all down, get more. Yep. Don't hang it off in your life. Grab him! 
But yeah, we can take Tangro right up to that rock. Okay, we made it through Samson Narrows. This is the entrance into Shimanus. So the marina and everything's over there. And we are gonna go anchor over here by the lighthouse and just take our dinghy into there. We're not going in because I phoned late and there's a dinner theater going on. They said we could we could get in tomorrow, but there's a lot of boats coming in tonight for the dinner theater. Maybe we should have gone to the dinner theater. I don't know. So uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just gonna go anchor over here and then we will take the dinghy over to the marina after we eat all those prawns that we just caught. We really have to eat the prawns. safe for the night. Let's cook some prawns. Cooked up the prawns. Abby's never had prawns before. Just take it and look at this feast. And go from the side like this and just start peeling it off. Oh, okay. Yeah, ignore Izzy and her fork. I wasn't using my fork. Look, Abby. I got it. Got it? Yeah. Look at Maggie. Come on, let's go. go her. It always takes a little bit of organization to get everybody into the dinghy. Just a little bit. You shall. Yeah, go. Go on. You can't film good me. Good boy, good boy. Come on, girl. Thank you. Thank you. Am I getting the dinghy?
here we are at Ladysmith Marina. They're so lovely here. I spoke with Connie, who runs the place, and we got to put the dinghy right there in E10. And you got a couple hours free, no problem, to go cruise around and shop. And then we'll come back. I told the kids and we'll eat them in two hours, Blaine, 5.30 right here. Did they set their GPS coordinates so they can find their I way back? I have no clue. They'll figure it out. The history of Shimanis is really cool. It was once a thriving fishing, mining and forestry hub. Unfortunately, when those industries collapsed, Shimanis was about to. So Shimanis reinvented itself. In the 1980s, an optimistic plan was put into place that would prove Shimanis to be more resourceful than it was ever in its past. The idea was to capture Shimanis' history in a series of large, striking murals painted on the Good walls of the town. Shemanis. And with that Good decision, a new industry was born and inspired the town's well-learned description, the little town that could. And we just happened to visit during their Bluegrass Festival. Met my love by the factory. Clouds are drifting. And after listening to some bluegrass, it was time to head off and find those murals and some ice cream. A walking meditation device. Sometimes we act like a fool. Not aware we're troublemakers. Sometimes we try to be cool. Not being good only takers. Come in, my sweeties. Coin in them? Yeah. If you pick the lucky box. That's the hard part. Pick the lucky box. So it was about five years ago we picked the lucky box and we actually got a gold coin. It was so awesome. I think it was Izzy that got it. She was so excited. But I'm thinking this is the lucky box. Blaine? Do you want me to pick you a lucky box? I'll get him a lucky box too. This one. Yeah. Now, Blaine, you pick which one you want. This one. That's the one I picked for you anyway, so yeah. we'll see. Choice. I know, I got it. Thank you very much. Thank you. Oh, I like it in here. Perfect. Can I have a piece of mixed berry with ice cream? Because I am going to get pied. I'm so excited. What do we call it? I'm going to get pie-eyed. Look at that mixed berry pie coming. Oh God, I love pie. Oh, tokens here. What are you guys getting? 24 very delicious flavors. All strawberry. Can I have $7 for the pie lady? Please. That's smart having them hang like that. And sometimes. I'm so excited. I've got pie. I'm getting pie eyed with my pie. Look at this. 
Yum. Let's taste it. And ice cream. And ice cream. You're not allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. That is so good, everybody. I highly recommend if you come to Ladysmith, go get pied, and then go get berry ice cream at the, what's it called? Shemanus. Berry, fairy, Shemanus. Where are we? We're in Shemanus. What did I say? Ladysmith. Weird. Don't come to, to Shemanus. Ladysmith will not have the pie lady. But you can come to Shemanus and get pie-eyed, uh -huh. and get ice cream at the 24 berry fur, fur flavors. Yes. Is it good? Very good. So I'm sitting here eating pie, and I feel like I'm being looked at. Do you guys see what I'm getting looked at? The sea rubbery, shrubbery? How do you say seal and shrubbery together? The seal of rubbery was staring at me. Seal of rubbery? <laughs> And after our quick pie and ice cream break, it was off to explore Shemina some more. Sometimes we smile when we're mad And some lines we wish we never said Stop for a minute Stop and breathe for a minute Don't get over your head Try to listen instead, won't you? Square, a meeting place for all people. Sculptures, this is Josh and Stefan, where those two guys sculptured. On a moonlit summer's night in 1913, two strangers found their way into Shimanus. While socializing with the locals, they were told of elusive snipes hiding in the forest, and that this would be a perfect night to catch them. They were shown the secret place in the woods and instructed to hold a lit lantern in front of an open sack, into which the locals, acting as beaters, would drive the snipes. <laughs> The townsfolk then stole back to the village. After hours of waiting, the boys realized they had been innocent victims of a bit of a mischief and returned to the village to join the others and share a good laugh. Snipes like dreams can be captured. Through hard work, Shemanus embraced its snipes when yesterday's dreams became today's reality. Snipes, man. Snipes. Oh, we have to go across the street. Family Cars Beloved Trees, original paintings by Emily Carr, painted by Stefan Juneman. 3D illusion, best observed across the street. Yeah, Shemaine is Emily Carr Outdoor Art Gallery. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. Cute little oasis. And then we decided that we need another quick dose of bluegrass before heading back to Tangaroa. It was a lovely walk. What do you think, it was Blaine? A very lovely walk. Yeah, we saw some really cool murals. We yeah, haven't walked that much around Shemina's like ever. We ended up at the Bluegrass Festival. That's what that was, which was pretty cool. Yeah. Listen to some bluegrass music, and now we're heading back to the boat because our feet are sore and we've got a bow and a beverage calling our name. Yeah. Bow and a beverage? I think Tiger Shark. Tiger Shark? Oh, and we found the girls. The Maggie. Let's head back. Thanks for visiting. Come again soon. Bye bye, Shemanus. You know when you're on a boat and something always breaks? Lane broke the tender. 
Lane, you broke the tender. Must have. Are you sure the clip it, is in the it right? It smells. It smells. I've done that where blooded. I don't put the clip in the right there place. There is one place. Do you see the red button? One place for the clip. Oh, you got to pull it out. Oh, yeah. Was it in the right place? It wasn't in the right place. It wasn't in the right slot. It wasn't in the right place. You need to, you need to rephrase how you say things. I told you, the clip is not in the right place. It's not the right slot. That's not the right place then. It if the it's right not place. in the right slot. It's the right place. That's the place. Oh, come on. If it's not in the right place, it's not in the right slot, it's not in the right place. Hey, Blaine. It wasn't in the right place. If it was in the right place, place. it would have started. <laughs> is the boat still where we left it? The wind has switched 180 degrees. Na 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 na. Don't see it yet. Uh-oh. What? Yay! There's the boat. Look. We found Tangaroa. Oh, jeez. Oh, it's off the back of my neck. <laughs> now I'm going to get wet. Alarm's going off here. Yes, we do. Holy cow! Yeah, we just swung. So you see, we actually didn't swing. No, it's, oh, a, yeah. it's a circle. So we just we swung exact opposite from where we were because the wind shifts at 180 degrees. So I just need to turn off the alarm. No, I'm gonna leave it on, but I'm gonna shift the anchor alarm to the center of our oh radius that's smart because now we know exactly yeah. so if that goes out tonight we know our radius yeah exactly and if you look at the, the range ring there it's perfect we haven't moved at all good job and after a very long day of exploring it was time to break out the s'mores and light the fire <laughs>